Hey everybody, welcome to Down Home Backyard Gardening. Yesterday I put out a video about tomato suckers. And I made some mistakes in the way I was explaining cherry tomatoes. And this is truly a mistake on my part. And I was politely called out, not in a rude way at all, very politely uh, addressed on a few of those mistakes. So yesterday I did a lot of searching, a lot of researching, and found out I was actually wrong. So I wanted to make a correction video because I am not above correcting myself at all. Let me start here. When I first started gardening about four years ago and I was researching and trying to learn and absorb everything I possibly could, when I got to the part about tomatoes, because <laughs> there's so much in the world of tomatoes, that I think I locked in some information that wasn't correct. And I don't know why I did that, but I did verify yesterday. I probably spent an hour and a half. I think I read 20, 25 different articles or publications just to make certain that I was dead on right in how I'm going to correct myself. Because the, the viewers that brought it to my attention were absolutely correct, 100%. When I was learning about tomatoes and the two different types determinants and indeterminants my entire focus for some reason was focused strictly on height how big do the plants get determinants will only grow to a certain height two four six maybe a little taller feet um, and then they stop growing indeterminants will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow uh, through the entire growing season until either you kill them or take them out um, of the garden or the frost kills them. So that is what I was focused on when I was always talking about indeterminates versus determinate tomatoes. That is correct, but this is the part that I got absolutely wrong. I said in that video that the majority of cherry tomato plants are determinates. Well, that's a thousand percent wrong. I searched the internet like crazy trying to prove myself right. <laughs> And I was absolutely wrong. The great majority, pr pretty much all cherry tomatoes are indeterminate. They are not determinate. In other words, they're an indeterminate tomato plant and they will continuously grow. So you have to have support systems, you have to have cages or you know stakes, you have to have a way of dealing with those types of plants. I'm gonna put a list, and this is a very small list of the plants that I found across 2025 20, websites that are the biggest, most popular determinant tomato plants. Right off the bat, Romas. Romas are all determinants. So, totally just got squirreled because, check it out, beginning of blackberries. Beginning of blackberries. <laughs> I get squirreled very easy in the garden. <laughs> Romas are the number one tomato plant that is a determinant that I found across all those websites. Romas. When you go to the big box stores or wherever it sells tomato plants, pepper plants, you know, veggies, or you're looking at them online, you want to ensure a thousand percent you know what type of plant you're getting, whether it is a determinant or an indeterminate. Now, where I got these tomato plants right here, the back flat out says whether they're a determinate or an indeterminate. That makes this so easy. It like takes all the guesswork out of it. So when you are researching the plants that you wanna grow, whether it's from a seed company or you're at a big box store and you're just seeing all these, all these options of tomatoes, make sure you're verifying what type of plant it is. Hopefully the tag on that plant says it's a, whether it's a determinant or indeterminate. But if it doesn't, whip out your phone, Google it. Make sure you know what type of plant you are getting for sure. Now behind me is a yellow pear tomato plant. This is a cherry tomato, this is a cherry tomato variety. I've been calling this thing a determinant. It's not, it is an indeterminate. The cage is around it. I can extend the cage with another one that I fasten together to keep this thing going up. Now, while I was doing all this research, I found a slide that makes 
this so easy. So I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here. Now, as you can see the difference between the two types of plant, the determinants are very easy. They're a bush type. They are, all their fruit grows and ripens at the exact same time. And you're pretty much done with that plant. The indeterminates will grow and grow and grow. They will produce fruit throughout the entire length of the grow season for you until the frost kills it or you take it out. One thing to remember about a determinate plant is what it says right there, all the fruit will ripen at the same time. So that means once that plant has its harvest and you've gotten all the fruit off of that plant, that plant is done. It will not continue to produce. That is everything I read and researched yesterday. That plant is done. So you might as well take it out, put a new one in and continue growing. But that plant will be done. Indeterminates, you can get fruit off those things for the entire season. But they do take a trellising system and they're going to be there for the long haul, for real. So I wanted to make sure that I addressed those corrections immediately. I did not want those lingering. And I do want to thank the viewers that brought that to my attention. I am still new-ish to gardening and I appreciate the politeness and the way that they addressed my mistakes for real. I invite anyone who has not subscribed to this channel to do so. Just click the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. And until next time, everyone, take care, God bless. I'll talk to you again real soon.